Hey, what is going on, everybody? Just wanted to say that we right now are recording the iPhone screen to my computer in the background completely free and it's absolutely wirelessly. As you can see right now, in the background, it is recording. Pretty awesome, right? It's completely free, by the way, and it has no lag. It's absolutely HD. Yeah, let's dive right into it. Hey, what is going on, everybody? I'm Riz, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can record your iPhone screen, any iPhone, by the way, to your PC or your laptop, absolutely free and completely wirelessly. Yeah, let's dive right in. By the way, Happy New Year, and now let's get started. All right, so the step number one is to download and install a free tool called AirDroid Cast. By the way, don't worry about it. All the links will be in the description box below. So just go to the website and click download. Right after, the, right after you click on download, it's gonna give you options for the operating system. So if you, I'm, I'm assuming everybody's using Windows uh, for this. So I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna click uh, Windows and it's gonna download it for me automatically. By the way, I have done this before, so I'm not gonna do it again. And once the installation, actually once the download is complete, go ahead and uh, quickly install it. It's really simple. And that's pretty much it. That's all you need to do on your computer and laptop. Right, so once the AirDroid cast has been installed on the computer or your laptop, that's pretty much all we need to do. That's it, okay? All right, now it's time to do the same on the iPhone. So let's go to the App Store and download the AirDroid cast free on the iPhone. All right, so as I said before, it's a free app for both the PC and your iPhone or any iDevice, by the way. Okay, so to go to the go to the App Store and type AirDroid Cast, and do do not download the AirDroid. Download the AirDroid Cast. There are two different applications. I mean, they are created by the same uh, company or organization, but they're just two different applications. So just download the AirDroid Cast. It's a little bit different looking, uh, it has a different icon. I've done this before again, so I can't really download it again. But once the uh, download is complete, that's pretty much all we need to do. All right, so the AirDroid cast has been downloaded on the iPhone and as well as on the computer or your laptop. Now what you wanna do is to make sure your iPhone and your computer are on the same connection or the same network. In this case, I'm gonna be using Ethernet cable for my computer and I'm gonna be using Wi-Fi for my iPhone. So my, my iPhone is connected to the same router but using Wi-Fi and my computer or your laptop needs to be connected to the same router. It can be either Wi-Fi, it can be either hotspot, it can be either, it can be either Ethernet cable. It can be anything as long as they are connected to the same network. That's really, really important, okay? So just keep that in mind and let's jump right into it. All right, so the first thing you wanna do when you open the software on your computer or your laptop, as you can see for this example, I'm using my computer and uh, everything is running fine. We are connected to the same network. Okay, so you have two options. You have an actual barcode and an actual code. So basically you have two options you can use. I would say barcode is really quick. I mean, compared to the actual code because uh, for the code, you literally have to type the code, okay? All right, so enough talk. Let's fire up the AirDroid cast on the iPhone. Again, make sure you are on the same network, okay? All right, so now you have the option to enter enter the uh, the code or you have the option to scan the barcode and it's so quick, I'm gonna show you. Right after I click on it, it's gonna scan the uh, barcode. So again, you can enter the code manually uh, or you can scan the barcode and see how that how quick it was. Literally like it took not even a second to scan the barcode. All right, so once you're on the connecting screen, just wait for it, depending on how fast your internet connection is. There you go. Now you have the option to start broadcasting. So just click on start broadcasting and click again on start broadcasting. And that way you, uh, your iPhone or any iPhone is connected to your, uh, to your PC or your laptop. So just give it time, it's gonna render the resolution to the uh, HD and it's, uh, it's gonna smooth out all the lags and uh, lag and everything, okay? So just give it a few seconds and that's pretty much it. See, there's you, there you go, it's actually rendering there now. By the way, you can go full screen as well. All right, so it's done. The iPhone is connected to the computer or your laptop. Now what you wanna do is to download a recording tool. Uh, it can be OPS, it can be Streamlabs, or it can also be your NVIDIA Control Center or Control G4 Experience, whatever you wanna call it. Well, in this case, I'm gonna be using OPS. All you need to do is to go to OPS, 
select a scene and that's it. That's just hit record and you are recording iPhone screen on your computer or your laptop completely free and absolutely wirelessly. All right, so in this, uh, for this example, I'm gonna be using OBS. It's a free tool, as I said before, you have multiple options. You have OBS, as you can see, it's recording right now. It's recording my screen right now, so I literally have to uh, minimize the uh, software so it will show the uh, iPhone screen only. But anyways, just for, the, uh, just for the sake of example, you can see it's recording. Again, it's a free tool, just like other uh, stream labs, if I'm not wrong. You have OBS I'm using right now. You can also use NVIDIA GeForce if you want to. But again, if you have multiple monitors, you can select the OBS. You can, you can have the OBS in the different monitor and have the uh, iPhone screen on another monitor. But that said, it's, it is done. Now you have a lot of options. You can do literally anything you like, okay? So this is it for me. By the way, I do have an end note at the end of this video. So just keep watching. Don't quit, okay? <laughs> and uh, if you're not subscribed to the channel, be sure to subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one. Yeah, I'm not gonna say peace out because my other self is gonna say peace out. So this is it for me, by the way, I'm Riz, and if you have any questions, do let me know in the comment section below, I will definitely get back to you. Also, if you're not subscribed to the channel, be sure to subscribe, I hope you like, I hope you enjoyed the video, I hope you liked the video, I'm, and I'm gonna catch you in the next one. Peace out.